Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you for stopping by. There is a there is a saying in Igbo land that says Onyekwechi Ekwe. This morning I want to talk about the chi. Some of us in life, the destinies we came with in agreement with our chi is like is that at a certain time or age, things will begin to work for us. Some of us don't need to do anything to activate our God-given destiny and blessings. But some of us need to do one or two things, positive things, please, to activate our chi, to activate our destinies. The chi you came with is different from mine. Now, what is chi? Chi is your guardian angel. The spirit that God assigned with you when he created you. When a child is born, there is a spirit assigned by the creator. The God that created the universe. There is a spirit assigned to each person that governs the person in the journey of life. This spirit is what we call chi. Now, the, some Igbos or some non Igbos, when they hear the word chi, they may think um, chi is God, the creator of the universe. Chi is a spirit assigned by God Almighty that governs you. Now, the person you see in your dream. It's not you. It's your chi. That is why you need to keep yourself spiritually active, spiritually cleansed. When you're keeping yourself spiritually active and cleansed, it is your chi you are activating spiritually. For example, when you make this prayer of May my leg not take me to where my head will be cut off. You are talking about your chi, not you physically. You need to know what your chi forbids and what your chi wants. When you are in alignment with your chi, by the grace of God, the lines fall in pleasant places for you. Some persons, for example, have you noticed that probably when you take, um, let's say, alcohol, you fall sick, you, you feel a kind of way. Sometimes it is your chi telling you that it doesn't agree with you taking alcohol. When you are in alignment with your chi, Things begin to work in your favor. I know of a lady that an old woman walked up to her and told her that should she want to um, be something in life, she shouldn't bleach her skin. And this lady, by the grace of God, adhered to that. And today, by God's grace, she's doing well. Now, I begin to wonder if she had not listened to that um, old woman, probably how would life be with her? See, in life is not about the millions, the billions, no. First and foremost, it's about you having a sense of living. It's about you looking at your life and saying, yes, I may not be there. Or I may not be where I want to be, but I am not where I used to be. You need to discover and activate your chi. Now some persons may begin to ask, how do I discover or activate my chi? One, there is a video I made about for your life. can't really remember the topic. But in that video, I spoke about... Praying to God Almighty, and asking Him, what would I do for my life 
at that moment, time of my life, it, it was a very, very dark time. And three consecutive times, I saw myself in the dream, giving. Now it is my chi in that dream that is giving. So it's literally passing a message to me that this is what you need to do. And I saw myself also reading the Bible. So it's like a message saying, give, read the Bible. These are the things you will do to be happy in life. It's not the money. To be happy in life. For lines to fall in pleasant places for some of us, you need to find out what your chi, the destiny that your chi brought to earth. What your chi what what your chi wants and what your chi doesn't want now some of us our chi may not want premarital sex yes our chi may not want premarital sex just need to sit down find out some persons after maybe doing something negative or let me use that word negative they realize that they often realize that there's a pattern something that happens afterwards like um i don't i don't really know how to put it but they still keep they, they, they still don't get the message like their chi the, the spirit in them doesn't want this thing they are doing their guardian angel doesn't want this thing you're doing that moment you're seeing yourself in the dream being caged it is your chi that is being caged and you and i know that anyone that is being caged cannot do anything so you need to activate your chi. You need to cleanse your chi. You need to speak a life into your chi. You need to, your chi is like, take your chi like um, you're communicating with yourself. You need to tell your chi. Do you know that sometimes you need to be angry with your chi? Yes. Now, how do I mean by angry with your chi? When you do something, you know that this thing is not right. Yes, it is you physically that did that you need to be angry with your chin like why look into the mirror and talk to the person you're seeing in the mirror why would you do this this is unfair this is not good you're not supposed to do this now it is you speaking to your chin that in act you don't like what you did so by so doing anytime you you want to do such again there's this um um alertness that tells you that no this thing is not good that is you have told your chi you don't like this thing you you you're doing and before you know it gradually you will stop it see activate your chi and by the grace of god see lines falling in pleasant places for you when you, some people think i'm um, chi Chi is um, Chukuokike Abiyama, the God of creation, the God that created the universe. No, Chi is the personal spirit that follows you about, that is assigned to you, that brings, that changes your destiny. Chi, that changes your story, that changes your destiny. That is your Chi. Please find out how to be in alignment with your Chi. Please do be spiritually alert so that your, your Chi will be spiritually alert. That moment you're eating in your dream, that moment you're sexing in your dream, it is your chi that is eating and sexing in that dream. And what does that translate? Physically, it begins to manifest to the person physically. Um, the after effect manifests to the person physically. So you need to be in alignment with your chi. Literally means literally meaning that. When you agree with something, your chi automatically agrees with it. Like I am agreeing. I, now, what is the agreement? You speaking out something or you rejecting out something. Like I am agreeing this morning that it is well with me. That I will, I, I will not weep. I will not die untimely. I will not know shame. I will not fail in life. I will live long. I will excel. That I will build humanity. Like I am agreeing this morning that I will be fruitful, I will be blessed, I will be great until the blessed call me blessed. Like I am agreeing this morning that I am going to bat twins twice. Like I am going, agreeing this morning that I am going to be fruitful right, maritally in every aspect of my life. I am going to be a force to reckon with in life. So that is how my chi is agreeing with me. Just trying to let you know what it means on your kwe chi kwe. When you reject things, your chi rejects it. When you agree with things, your chi agrees with 
with it. So you are always in alignment with your chi. You are always in alignment with your chi. When you feel like, will this thing work? Will I get this job? Will I do this and that? That you are, your chi is picking it up and working with it. Working, it, working with it behind the scene. And when these things begin to manifest, you'll be wondering, ah, how did it happen? It is your agreement, your spoken words, your thoughts, that your chi is activating and working with it. This morning, I just want to make, make us to understand the power of our chi, the power of activating your chi, the power of knowing and finding out what your chi wants so that line will fall in place and places for, you, for all of us by the grace of God. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate you all. It's no other person. What's Gloria? Cheesy. Oh. <laughs> mm.